Okayama on with the production car challenge. I'm in the Mazda MX-5 here. Oh, this is jokes. This is it's a 25 minute race, multi class, and you are with Toyota GR88 86s and the Mazda MX-5. Sometimes there's a Clio and a Mustang running around causing havoc, but these are some of the most messiest races you will ever see and they're also the most fun to be in because it's so slow paced people do a lot of talk and here we can see there's a guy already on the inside of the grass yeeted someone off he has a cone under his car so that's him he's he's stained people know he's already up for dancing this early on in the race I'm starting off, didn't do the best quality, I overfueled the car for the race, I figured out that I need about 10 litres less than what I have, so if I remove 10 litres, do a bit of fuel saving, I should be a lot faster, but uh, as you can see, a lot of ninja stuff going on here, I decide to interject myself here up the inside, not a lot of people think that can happen, little 0x, but with these guys, you gotta be a little bit rough, you know, similar to Mazda racing in real life, there's a lot of door banging going on, so over to the right, secure the inside of the corner, obviously taking a 3 wide on lap 1 with call tyres, no problem i'm actually into that so i'm there thinking this guy i'm going to keep this guy boxed in there's a guy on the left he's boxed in and we're just going to stay as tight as we can this guy got sort of checked up a bit so we had to go up his inside didn't really want to go for a move that aggressive but we did so you know that's that done karma. there's some guy screaming karma there's me responding can't remember what i said here we got a guy going off on the grass too, very, very messy. We're up to P7 now, there's a guy in the middle of the road just chilling. These two guys have the window down, they're just having a chat to each other, you know, just, you know, how's it going? So, car's flying in the rear mirror, but we don't want anything to do with that, so we'll just keep going forward. We have uh, Pratik, uh, pretty fast GR, so I tell him to go, because he's 4.6k, so I assume I'm going to let him go and I won't see him again, so I could use his draft here. A lot going on on the first lap, isn't there? Yep, 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 yep. So, I destroy my exit here, try get close, move on to lap number two. So I do catch up to my pack of the guys I need to be racing because there's a lot of mess going on, naturally, so they all get pulled a bit closer to me. So I jump up the inside here, try to capitalize on a bit of their mistakes. Again, someone leaves a door open in these cars, you have to go for it. Some people, I don't know why they don't defend their positions properly, especially on this track. You gotta, so bit of a wiggle coming in i leave him space on the exit because i'm sound like that i think he realizes he has to back out or no no he keeps pushing it my main focus is on this uh toyota in my mirror now trying to figure out if he wants to go for a move up the inside i think he sees the both of us are racing hard so he kind of hangs back a bit here try get a good exit but this mazda's just chilling on the inside he's not going anywhere nowhere at all so slotting in now i'm there thinking oh this is nice and close i moved my seat up a bit here yeah i remember that so i'm thinking maybe the inside move is on the cards here no one defends so might as well go for it. let's see what i can do and yeah sure enough managed to make it i just have to get down into first gear the toyota squeezes on by it's quite a lot of speed so i try and keep a bit of draft this guy is not really giving me all the draft he starts giving it to the car left of me so i'm there thinking you know i'll just try to get a bit of side draft leave him boxed in on the left so he can't really do much Got a little 0x there, he tried to escape the box. I found some speed last minute, managed to overtake the lot of them. So that Mazda seemed to be a bit pissed off that he got boxed in and decided to just murder someone. So fair enough, you got to take your anger out in something, eh? Lap 3, and our blood pressure's already 180 over 100. Moving on <laughs> to lap number 7. So a lot happened where I kind of got stuck in a groove and... There wasn't really much of anything happening, so I'm in P5 at the moment, trying to catch up on Anthony here. The GRs are causing a bit of hassle for us. In general, they're quite fast, but they have been helping me by pulling Anthony closer to me. So Anthony realizes this. He's getting a bit, uh, let's say, irritated, understandably, because these GRs are helping me and not him. So I try to plan the outside here, see if I can stick it and stick behind Anthony. I kind of get up here, but this guy didn't really want to leave much space, which, fair enough, you know, we had a little brush. That's that's what it's all about. And it's just trying to... Breaking, Julian. Trying to get close enough is the main thing. Trying to get close enough to do some damage. The fact I'm overfueled here doesn't help me, because anything I do to go fast, the car is just too heavy. So, that's probably a... Let's not do that one again in the books, you know? I'm looking at him there, I'm real jealous, because I'm thinking, damn, he's probably passing another GR. But it looks like he's just got himself caught up in another fight. And he has actually secured the position. So someone else is going to challenge him on the outside. But 
Doesn't look like too much is happening here. Just trying to figure out a way. I knew this guy was going to block me, so I give him a good bump draft to let him know, hey, I'm here, so if you're going to block me, you're going forward. Try a little move down the inside, but that kind of spooked him into doing a defensive move. He overshot the corner, and then these two Mazdas just get to squeeze by. After all the hard work I'm doing trying to unsettle these guys, these two guys think they can rock up and just pass me. So I see this guy on my right, I look in the mirror, I see, you know, there's one gap, one chance, I got a lift, move over to the right. Brush the paint of the other car, but we're still alive, I'm on the inside, I'm in a good position for this corner. Break as late as I can, there is a window open here, so I dive into it, follow the black Mazda through. Yellow Mazda gets stuck, but I have a GR on my left. So things get a bit messy here, but they kind of wind down afterwards, and we all get stuck back in a train again, so that's a bit annoying, so... After this train moved on for a while, I think uh, that guy uh, did pass him, but he was just behind me, kind of hounding me. Funnily enough, the Mazda sounds like an F1 car, like this, so I just sped it up. I was going to delete the audio, but this is pretty funny, so I thought I'd leave it in. So here we are. Last lap. Not much happened, unfortunately. We tried yeah, to push for P4, but Juan was too fast. He probably had the correct fuel. Anthony, you're and that's pretty much it. It's just a small tale. Come on, Hank. Admit you, I apologise, mate, and I won't report you because, come on, mate. Yeah. He didn't apologise. I had to see it for myself, and yeah. What a mess. What a mess. Fun race. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy hunting. And let's enjoy this guy's pass manoeuvre. Oh, very nice. If in doubt, you can't go over, you can't go under. Go through. The end.